You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. What it do, y'all? It's another edition of the No Nonsense Show. It's your boy, Jamie Mack, alongside Be Honest. We got Jay Smooth in his stomach in the house. And we got French Reggie, fresh out of fucking China. What did you just throw? Was that a blood sign? I just said three. <laughs> Three what? It, it looks three. mighty. That looked like a three, blessing. Three what though? It's four of us. That I mean, in a crip neighborhood, that'll get you fucked up. But what is three? Why? Why did you choose three? I just did it naturally. There was no thought process into it. What's na- I don't understand. You have, there has to be something. What? What are you thinking we're doing? It was just a cool thing because you saw somebody else do it. Gang member by nah, nature. Yeah. Now, nah, if, if if I saw somebody, it would probably be something like this. But let me see it again. What What it would be if you saw someone? No, no. If you saw someone. <laughs> Because everybody does this. Do they? Everybody. Mm. You listen, butthead. What you up, bro? You, you think you can ever um, bring the show in and say something nice about me because this is two, this is the second week in a fucking row. You, you disrespect me. That's so, I don't yeah. give a fuck. That, but the last week, the motherfucker disrespect me. He said, he not here. Yeah, that's not disrespect. That. That's a fact. It, is. That, it don't matter. You fucking recognize. Put some respect on my shit. Oh, you, you listen? Th- yeah, I fucking listen. I purposely fucking listen. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I knew you purposely. said you said. Oh, he not here. We we <laughs> we'll need to mention it. And then you uh, be honest, co-sign it. Talking about if y'all if, if the show is good. You know what I'm saying? Do, do some thumbs up. I didn't co-sign it. I asked the listeners. Thumbs up. I asked the listeners to vote on whether they thought the show. Did, did was we just did a poll. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you see it, all the thumbs ups? Yeah. And I, I'm glad. That's why. That's why I said. That's why. I, that's why I sent a motherfucking virus so the show go down for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? To come back up. You know. You noticed that, right? The shit went Whatever. out. The show went out, right? I did that shit. I put a worm in the show. A worm. Yeah, and it went out. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's what you motherfuckers get. So you want me to motherfucker just and do, all of our do, listeners, Jim Mac, just, to believe that you're smart enough. To hack our system? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? j I okay. how'd, you, how'd you do it? I, All right. I'm, I'm pretty smart. I can't tell you how okay, I Okay, Swordfish. I can't tell you how I did it, but you know how I did it. But I appreciate that. But j Mac, just motherfucking next time, man. You, you, give Bro, me some what love. happened was, man, I give looked over love. there, and your stomach was like all up <laughs> on the table, bro. So that's why I said... Why is you looking all over here at me? I didn't, bro. It's like the blob that shit was coming through the door. It's like okay. he's just coming underneath shit, out the faucet. Okay, okay, okay. okay all right, bro. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just I saying. appreciate it, though. I like the OJ Mac that didn't talk shit. You know what I'm saying? That You know, you ain't brought a, me nothing, man. I don't need to bring nothing. I need you know, gifts. You got, you, got your, you got your French Reggie back. You got AirPods, Jay Smoke? <laughs> no, these... Then we these, post. These, 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 and, these Android pods. You got a hole in your shirt, nigga? Yeah, I do, oh, nigga. How you got a fruit of little shirt with a hole in it, nigga? <laughs> I'm with my dog. They're supposed to be fresh shirts. You just came back from China where they make them shits. They should be a dollar over there in <laughs> fucking China. Early. How the fuck you going to go over there with the same bullshit, come back with the same bullshit you took over there? You supposed to have more shit that you come I'm back I'm sure they with. cost less than a dollar. I'm yeah. 20 cents. Well, that's even, that's even bad. It, even more worse. You should have had some T-shirts. Did you bring some T-shirts back, friend? I haven't really bought many clothes in China. Mostly, you mostly sneakers. Yeah, you should buy some clothes, my nigga, because your clothes, your wardrobe game wasn't really on tight when you left. But you know, <laughs> and get your J-Smooth. that's probably that's Since probably the guy that's you know like that's probably why you ain't get no pussy over there. So this time when you go back <laughs> over, change it up, change the game, change the game. But yeah, man, I'm glad to be back, man. I'm glad to be back. I was on vacation. I didn't everybody, even know you was gone. Tell you the truth, everybody was on. Everybody <laughs> was on vacation. I didn't. How, how was your vacation? Nobody gives. Where'd you go? Uh, see, <laughs> it was good. It was good. Who you good. went with? What do you mean everybody was on vacation? When you said it, what does that mean? So. I was listening to the show. You motherfuckers went jet skiing. Oh no, no, we we are responsible show people. We did our we didn't vacation. Miss show. Yeah, we did our vacation at the end of the week, knowing that we record on Monday. Oh, I couldn't help that mind. Yes, you could. It's a timing thing. It was what do you What do you mean? You aren't you the time. dad? You're the dad, right? Yeah. You're the boss, right? Yeah. Maybe not. Are you oh, the you boss? T- you went with your daughter time. and and his girl. Yeah, yeah, it was time. And my oh, girl to so, the family. So that's to a the real family. girl because yeah, she gets we, to meet the daughter. Yeah, we. we well, here's the thing though. I mean, you know, Groupon didn't have a Thursday vacation. <laughs> right. Groupon didn't have a Thursday vacation. No, so Expedia didn't. Expedia didn't have, they didn't have no uh, Thursday. They didn't have any dude, Wednesdays, any Tuesdays. So you're telling me the only day they could book y'all was during show recording? Yep, Sunday through my fucking Thursday. They didn't have any two week vacations. <laughs> Jim, I fuck you. Hey, okay, Jim, I. Okay, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. I'm just trying to be. Opposite. I'm not gonna. I'm not I'm gonna wish to, nothing on you. I'm yeah. trying to balance out. I hope, the, I hope the fucking electric. Go out your car today where you drive that motherfucker. You're not cheating no more, right? Huh? You're not cheating. <laughs> you said what? You're not cheating anymore, right? Cheating no more when? Like like in relationships. Like, you know. 
He's saying you're a faithful man. Now, I'm right? a faithful man. I don't. Right? My nigga, I never cheat. You with all your girlfriends, yeah, I forgot. I don't, I don't cheat. I, what the fuck is that? Okay, um, yeah, right. thank you. But <laughs> I'm just, saying, I'm just trying to balance B out. B is, what I do? You're, you're, you're mad that he wasn't here, and I'm saying, hey, well, I'm not mad enjoy no, because your I was, vacation. I was gonna be, I was gonna be on the show. I still was gonna be on the show, and then I caught it. But we was what having you mean, t- like a calling. I, I forgot. I sent the worm, and it was time was fucking off because I was trying to call in. I so ignored the call. Yeah, I called we, in. I did call in during the show, though. I understand, but we got it. If you're not here, we got it. We don't need yeah. you to call in. So I was, I was trying. Well, I was what would you, what would you have added? Because there were, there, there had to been a reason why you nigga called in the va- middle of the show. Nigga, value. You know J Mac was late. J Mac was late. J Mac said, uh, J Mac said, are we still recording? Right? French ass. No, J Mac was early actually. So who who sent the motherfucker man say well I'm like hit these niggas. No, listen, you're not listening to my question. You decided to call while we were recording. What sparked the Inspiration to call at that moment. What were you about to add? Just my presence, my nigga. Shit, it's so like one, nothing, nigga. It's like when so, LeBron shows like up what he's on the doing floor, right now. It's different. <laughs> like what Red, he's doing right so now. So French Reggie, what was your question about cheating? That's what we. Were, that's that's what, what I'm saying. Like he I deflected. Go I, ahead. Like, I heard he had a girl, but I didn't know it was a girl. Like he's sticking to he vacation. He had with. a girl. Right. Yeah, but I didn't think it was like so the girl graduating to the point where like she can go on vacation with him. So what was your question? Though? Like, are you cheating? Nigga, I take everybody no. on vacation. She, 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 she actually went on vacation with his Christian name. Jay Smooth, the character, talks shit like he fucks other bitches. That's just for the show, though. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> That's just for oh, the show. Oh, so you only cheat on the show. Huh? Content, yeah. content for content. For content. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so if you're at 300 already, I don't, I don't fucking cheat. I don't. I, I don't even know what you guys are. We're really about four to. weeks ago. Let's, uh-huh. let's be clear. It hasn't been that long ago. You mm-hmm. talk about slaying some pussy. Yeah, you said yeah. you're gonna get record something and bring it back to us. Remember, we were talking about what was it? Two we're, weeks, not too long ago. Some you, you guys, you had a, a coworker. You know, I was trying. Other, I was trying. In to Christian some music, you was getting your dick sucked. Right. Or was yeah, that your girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't your girl doing stuff like that. I remember that, that wow. show. Because wow. that wasn't your girl doing stuff like when that. When you was getting head, and then gospel music started yeah, to play. Yeah, but yeah, but what Why are you, you guys talking about? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> was that you your girl? About, huh? No. Nigga, yes. All of them are my girls. Okay, I don't there we cheat. go. Back yeah, to that. That's right. No, you know, I have a real question, though. Seriously. Because yeah. you look uncomfortable. So let's, let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Okay, so 300 was your number win. When, when did you say the 300... When was yeah, like just, give me, just give me a, a ballpark figure. When was know. when was three hundred? Uh, at what point ago. in your life? A while ago. So more than five years? Yeah, before we started. He started the sh- the the show. At oh, so you had three hundred at, at inception, like the the first episode zero zero one. You had f- three hundred already. Okay, what's your goal? How many? What's your end? I'm number? done. I, I've hung it oh, up. So yeah. you're in the four hundreds now. I've hung. I've you're hung done fucking women. <laughs> no, I didn't say I was done fucking women, J Man. You just That's said not that. what I said. You no, didn't no, say no, no, that. no, 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 no. You said I'm you done. Hung it I'm up. done running the numbers. What you, you know? Up? What I'm saying okay. running the numbers. I, I I don't need to run the numbers anymore. So you're not you know, hanging we, your dick we, up? We, we, no, no. <laughs> I'm never hanging that motherfucker up. Never. I mean, you know there's gonna be an age where you're just gonna have to. No, 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 no. You don't have to. They they make shit for that, my nigga. You don't never have to hang it up. You know what I'm saying? Says the nigga that wanted to put gay shit in the boom boom room. You know what I'm saying? I never said I wanted to. Yes, you did. Yeah, but it anyway. sounds like you were looking for it. Yes, kind of yes, got disappointed. No. Kinda, honestly, I was waiting to see you post some gay shit in the boomer. I waited all week. I'm like, if this, <laughs> if this nigga post a gay porno scene, all right, in it's the boom, it's out, right? So we just go, we go, we go and talk about out? His, his comment about he said it. I just said, just was that on the show it. though? It was yeah. on the show. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was on the show. Yeah. It might have been you, a premium show. I, oh, it was a premium. That's what it was. It might have been a premium show. But yeah, so Jay, for you listeners who who are too cheap. Too cheap to pay the five dollars a month to help us be better. Um, French Reggie said we we have a room in the Slack room, channel room, I guess subgroup, where we post no judgment. It's a judge free zone. We post porno clips for whatever yeah. whatever's on your mind, whatever's going Anything. on. Anything. It isn't. It's just not porno clips. It's, it's all about your inner freak. Anything. Porn, that you, porno clips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's group. Much. It's group sourcing. Yeah, I hear what he's saying, but what it, it actually is is just a bunch of fucking porno. So, French Reggie just learned about this last week, though, and uh, decided that he was, you know, he was like brainstorming, you know, what I'm saying some ideas and stuff he could put in there, and it dawned on him that he should put some gay porno. This in This is there. how I know niggas don't tell the full story. That's what you said. <laughs> you said, well. Uh, <laughs> It, I'm I lying. Said, no, no. It, you, this is how it went down. I'll be honest. I because I can do a perfect reenactment because I fucking got the best memory. Right. <laughs> so this motherfucker says, "Hey, this is wild," and I'm like, "Hey, it's fucking no judgment." He's like, "So, 
I could put some gay porn in there. <laughs> And I, you said, I, well, they might think. No, I just want to be one hundred with them, right? Because I, I don't want to leave even, my. I, I didn't even act like that. I don't want to leave my dude wrong, right? So I said, listen, you could do that, and and even though it's a no judgment zone, you some look people at your, look at some people different. might think something right about you. I didn't even say all that, but I said, can you put some gay cuck holding shit up in there? Yeah, because you were talking about niggas swallowing other nigga cum and shit like that. That was the graduation. Right. It didn't start. You graduated to eating cum, French Reggie. So, honestly, what was the last good gay porno clip you you watched? I don't watch gay porn. But he did it earlier. I've seen the cuck hold shit, though, but I don't watch gay porn. So, is that gay porn? I think it is, isn't it? If if it ends, so let me ask you again. If it ends, what's the last good gay porn? That one, that one scene. Tell us about what happened. It was a cuckold scene. Um, Look at the camera, man, because I don't like you. It was a don't don't face me. It was a cuckold scene, right? Interracial. Um, pretty much, black guy comes, saves the day, fuck the white girl, husband watches, and at the end of the scene, the husband eats. The black dudes come on the girls' pussy. Uh, yeah, and you thought that you thought that wasn't gay. No, no, no I so thought I, that was gay. So when I asked you what's the last good gay clip, you said I don't watch gay porn. Well, hold up, but that was technically considered it was under the straight category. But when I watched it, I was like, oh, that's gay. But it's under the the straight category. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you a porn addict? Let me know. Tell me how wrong I am. I'm. I'm. I'm just. Can we just start at the beginning? Sure. You said when is the last. Gay. No, no. Time. No, no. Oh, when the last time? No, no. What's the? It started with a G. Good. The, good. Right. <laughs> you you like that, huh? That was good. I for didn't you. like that ending. You said it was good, <laughs> so you <laughs> you liked it up to the ending part. So you like a, a, a straight dude or a, what? I don't even know what. I don't these labels. Don't, you like watching a guy watch his girl get fucked? No, I just think it's impressive how some guys. It's impressive. Impressive how some guys can get hard on that. And not get mad. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah, I think it's impressive. Okay, which? Okay, hold on. Which dude are we talking about? The, which dude? The black I mean, dude or the white dude? No, the, the fucking. I was watching the porn to jack off so I can get on my day. But you were impressed by the white. <laughs> dude. But while watching it, I was impressed at the fact that there's men out there that get hard on watching their wife get fucked. Can we? Okay, yeah. so impressed, it's the white guy. But impressed. No, no, no that's it, it's that's not the word. Impressed. He's, no, he's a graduate. I was impressed by the fact that there's men out there that actually enjoy watching their wife get fucked. Like, I was just like, whoa, like, I would never like that. But there's a lot of dudes that are into that. So, so you, you like said, it. You no, I don't like it. I, just, I would I never like that. that. Yeah, but I think it's just impressive that, like, yo, not, did stop. You not, stop. I'm nutty because the stop black talking dude was shit out of the I'm going to have to advise my client to stop talking right now. I'm going to have to advise my client to stop talking right now. No, stop. So wait a minute. Oh, wait. No, no, no. But David Mack. I'll keep it real, lawyer. It's problematic. It's problematic. How is it problematic? Because you said you nutted. And he said the black was, guy was fucking the shit out of the girl. Got, he got off to watch. Hold on. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Go he, ahead, Fred. No, no. Don't let, he already said it. There's nothing to go back. So he says he nutted, right? Mm-hmm. He also says that at some point the white guy ate the black guy's mm-hmm. cum. Mm-hmm. So either he nutted and then waited around to see the white guy eat the cum, or he nutted when the white guy ate the cum. I don't know why you let this I waited thing. around. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That that's not believable. No, no. But this is it I, ha- like okay. right after I nutted. This, the black dude nutted, and then so sh- you and the black guy synced up. I usually try to do that. <laughs> that's what, I usually why I usually try to finish when they finish that way. I'm listen, good. Listen. So wait a minute. Listen. This what's more could, gay? This is why. No, how's that gay? How's that gay? The white. Dude. So when y'all watching porn, y'all don't try to finish <laughs> at the same I time. Try to, <laughs> I'm trying to I can't come, be the only nigga that I'm trying does to come, that. I'm trying to come when she come. When she be like, oh, I'm busting that. That's when I be trying to go. But the scene ends when the dude busting that. Yeah. I'm trying. Like I said, I'm trying to get when she come. Oh okay. Uh, That's just. I like to finish when the scene ends. Mm. Hey, but see, this is why I couldn't be an attorney, right? Because I would turn on my fucking my client like in a minute. Because when he said he was impressed, so that's 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 that's. that's, I don't know. Impressive. That's it's not. So you can go, hey, that fucking Jaguar is impressive, but I wouldn't want it. That you lie. Right. You can't afford it. Right. But you, if someone gave it, yeah, someone, if you were impressed with something, right. And someone said, "Here, you could have this." But he's impressed with the guy you, who's watching his right. wife. I, 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 we haven't. He's got, not impressed. Be with honest. The guy. Can I take it step by step? There. Okay. Yeah, we go, haven't even go. gotten. I like to where that you're point. going with this. Continue. 
<laughs> Why does he like where you're going? <laughs> you know, continue. You're like, Maybe he's okay with it. Because there's nothing gay about that. Okay, okay. Yeah. There's something about you liking the dude. It's not that I that, like the dude. No, you're no, impressed no. by him. You're impressed. Okay, listen. Yeah. Anything that, let's just be clear. Anything that impresses me, I don't care what <laughs> no, you want to say. I, I like it. I know what it is. I like it. These niggas, are, um, <laughs> uh, what, are they, what is that shit called? What did, what did that nigga say? Like the, uh, the the guy who gets shot, I respect the shooter. What Jay Z said, <laughs> J- Prince Reggie expects the guy getting shot. That's what it is. Oh, what Kendrick say? I don't know. With the one in front of the gun. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, man. So y'all don't think it's weird that some niggas weird or impressive? Come on, bro. But just that, mm-hmm. what I'm impressed by is the fact that he has the mental fortitude to separate. His relationship with his wife, and to, you aim to do be that you. No, I don't have. Be, I have no desire to be no, that that's guy. That's next level. Next, next, <laughs> that's next level love, right? End, Say it. That's next level love, right? That's next level. Next Depend level love. Level you said up, you're in that's right. category. Level up to what though? Come on, brother. It's an impressive level. You, it, it's impressive. It's an impressive state of mind for sure. I can I can tell you. So that. it's next level love that it's you're next impressed level. with. I'm impressed. Can you love that hard? I know. No, I can't. I got too much pride and ego. For me to love that hard. However, just the fact that this there's people okay. out there. This is a real thing. This is not just for the porn. I like there's real niggas out there that. But you know that the the motherfuckers you watch are actors. Right? Yes, but that's they, not really his girl. I know, but at the okay. same time, they created that scene because there's really people out there that does. That okay, shit. so check this out, right? Wait a minute. Let me ask him this because okay. maybe he's the reason why I get all this fucking family porn. Are you impressed with the stepbrother that fucks his? Sister? I don't know. Is that impressive? No. That if you can get your dick hard and fuck the mom? That's no. impressive. Mom? If, if you can fuck your mom, that's pretty impressive. If you think a dude fucking your wife while you watch and then eating his cum is impressive, I think it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> Nah. That's what nah, you fucking said, his nigga. sister or stepsister you, is oh, a whole so different that's ball weird. game. Ah, that's just that's a whole weird. different ball game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's got to be a clip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just, a whole different ball game. That's just fucking weird, fucking, right? No, fucking your sister and mom. That's step, completely step, weird. But let the nigga come step. Whichever one. But let the nigga come in and fuck your girl and then eating his cum. That's not weird. That's impressive. Hold up. Yeah. You think that you think that letting a dude he said yeah. Yeah, I know. Hold I up. Did. Yeah, hold up. You think that what do you think happens more? <laughs> let me just ask you this. Stepbrothers and sisters fuck or dudes watch their fucking girls get fucked by a black dude and then they lick up the cum off their girl's pussy. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the latter. I'm hoping it's the, the You know that like the there's two. there's there's like real people like that are related to motherfuckers that fuck each other. Yeah, but that's compared to the cuckolding. You think there's more? You think more step brothers and sisters are fucking? No, each that's other? not even step. I'm talking about real. I'm not even talking okay, about so step yet. So you're saying heterosexual sex with your stepsister is far more weird. Then licking a nigga's nut out of your wife's pussy? <laughs> he does. It's what, I, I'm glad. Thank you, Giannis. Help me out with this, bro. It's impressive. <laughs> this, you this, are Because when you say heterosexual sex, you change the whole no, thing. No, 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 no. The no, whole no. thing. It I'm did not, nothing change. It's the same impre- shit. What's impressive to me, it's not the fact that it's heterosexual or gay. It's the fact that this is a grown man. One, he doesn't have a problem his wife cheating on him, or f- I guess it's not cheating because he knows, fucking another dude, but he also enjoys the fact that the wife is getting fucked by another dude. That's like, to me, that's like two layers of like not giving a fuck and just being whatever. Maybe she's a bitch. Whatever. I'm, I'm, t- I'm literally talking about the dude himself. And I'm know. literally talking about the fact that you said impressive, and at the end, somebody licked somebody's nut. And you say that that's... That's still far more impressive and better. I'm talking about what's uh, impressive is the state of I mind. I would rather somebody just fuck their stepsister. So I'm talking what's impressive to me is the dude's state of mind. Okay. Not that actual action is going on. But it's a stepsister. I'm not even worried about, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about simply what I said earlier. This bitch ain't even related to this dude. Right. Check this out. Check, so listen. So uh, this is the thing. As a dude who admittedly watches porno oh with a particular male body part as a criteria. Yeah. That what you're saying and your focus on that dude being the criteria is kind of like I get it. I it's like I said I'm trying to relate. Mm-hmm. How are you relating to this impressive dude? I'm not really I'm not even related. Why are you frustrated right now? Cuz cuz y'all y'all Wait, y'all you got oh. you got some come right down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if, like again, I'm going to say it again. 
Because apparently y'all don't understand. <laughs> just the fact that this dude don't mind that shit, that's what I'm impressed about. It's not because of the actual actions going on. So him just licking the, f- the come up didn't didn't help you get off. No, that's some gay shit. That's just that shit. That's just, that's just some gay shit. That's not impressive to me. What's impressive to me is that there's men out there that actually gets hard. By the From fact that they're white, I'm not man. impressed by that. Fuck I'm not man. impressed at another all man. by that. It's not. At a, all. I'm impressed by this. Like the, there's a mindset like that. Like mm-hmm. whoa, so like you well, can so get to that level of mind. That's all I'm saying. Like whoa, there's people that French really. Is, French is saying he yeah. got off to that man. He did. With he that did. state no, of mind. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Say so he was sitting watching a man. He, he, he said, "Damn, this is impressive." No, honestly, I'm, I'm interested now. What made you nut? What about? I nut because the dude was fucking the shit out of girl. The action, the actual. So had there been no white guy sitting in the corner looking, I wouldn't even care about him. Mm. I just saw the girl. Oh, we cannot him. do that. No, no, we cannot do that. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can't say the, you don't care about him. I saw this. I saw hey, the. I saw the thumbnail. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I saw the thumbnail of the girl and the dude. Right. I didn't even see the dude until I started watching the video, um, and see that it was a cuckold scene. But by that point, I was already. Oh, you, you was already. You already sold. Committed. Was, yeah, because it was just the girl. I was really interested. You already to, excited. Right. Committed. So they fucking. I bust my nut, and then. Right after that, I'm seeing like, oh, husband comes in and pretty much eats the girl's pussy with the cum in her pussy. And I'm like, oh, there's one thing that like you get hard on that. And there's another thing too, like you actually like yeah, finish it. Still- so you got mad at him for, for duping you. Cause he went from impressive, no, no. so he went from impressive to he didn't disgusting. he didn't he didn't start this conversation off with how disgusted he was. He started off with how impressed he I was. Know. Yeah, I was imp- like I said because I said I'm impressed I, like by I the said, state I of would mind. Get my own clients by the up. state of mind, not the actual action. Just Got the you. fact that there's men out there. Right. I was even. I'm not even talking about the scene and stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about like the real life people that enjoys that shit. Right. I was just like, right. damn, you like, enjoy it. You're real life. No, I don't enjoy that. You though. nutted to it. I'm nutted to the action Come of the on. girl. He's nutted to the, the action. He's enjoying the action. All both y'all, but that's his wife. You and this, you and this cuck old dude are no different. The only difference is his wife. That's a big difference. I mean, okay. Mm-hmm. That's a big difference. It's your wife. Yeah, but I mean, you're just watching too. Both of you guys are just watching. I'm impressed with how you're able to look at another dude's ass fucking a, 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 another person. That's impressive to me, I guess. Okay. That's on you. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, because. You see how you see how him calling you impressive and saying he's impressive made you a little weird? It's weird. No, I'm saying you that's know, on did you. you. Did you feel like that? So, so yeah, if that but, dude, but, but you, if, you, oh, got, you did it again. <laughs> but you guys. <laughs> You guys are focusing on not say, on this topic. You guys think that on? I'm impressed about the actual action. I'm literally I, I said that seven different times already. Okay. I'm literally just impressed that there's men out there that that I'm, can think to that level. That's I'm trying to just tell you all right I'm now. saying. I'm trying to tell you right now. If that white dude was in here right now, he'd feel a little weird. <laughs> you told me you were okay. Really if you impressed. with how impressed you were with with his mind state, he might want to take you into a coco. No, I'm good. Mm, I don't think. I think if you're that impressed, yeah. You're bullshitting that you would not be more impressed to watch him do that shit in real life. Word for real, like watch him fuck me, fuck his. How, wife? how, how long of a, how long would you have to be with a girl to like? What's the, the time limit? No, no, no. I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. If you just start dating one week, let's not go that far. What you only been dating a chick one week, and then she would I watch her fuck another dude? No, 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 no. I don't want no, 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 no. Stop. I don't even go that part with you. I want you. We're still with the white dude that you're impressed with. Okay. You Again, want, not that actor. Just I'm talking about the real life people. Right, right. That's whatever, what I'm. Whatever, this is the whatever, dude, you, can get, you can find whatever white dude you want. Yeah, you then, pick the white dude. <laughs> you pick the white dude. Okay, you're fucking his girl. Uh huh. You're gonna be impressed with the fact that he's able to get off on you fucking his girl, and then let him eat. Mm-hmm. I mean, he do whatever kids. you. You he can do whatever you want. I'm already after. out by then. Yeah, I'm already out. Yeah, I, I did my part. Right. I fucked the girl. He got to clean up both sides. But you go, ooh. No, 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 no. I didn't sign up for that. Yeah, I can, I'll can. i let him watch me fuck his girl. See, I think yeah. we're at first. But I'm not kinda, getting hard. At, at first, you were kind of no with this. No, That's I, thought, what I'm saying. You, you I kinda, thought you was talking about the other the other way around. You weren't impressed with the guy fucking the guy's wife. You were impressed right. with the guy getting his girl cucked. I watch porn every day. I, I already know that. I got it. But so when I asked you when was the last time you saw some good gay porno, you didn't. Now you recognize that that has a little. That, that yeah, that, that has a gay scene in it. He sure. said earlier that see it. Uh, he said earlier he hadn't posted anything because he hadn't watched. I didn't watch porn a week this this whole week. But he said he watched it every day just a minute ago. So I, I said I watch you. Let's move I've on. watched porn every day. That's oh, what okay. I'm saying. Like yeah, let's my bad. See, I just yeah. I brain. just haven't watched porn this Facts. week. All right, so here's a post I came across on uh, Instagram. Next time you see a tall black boy, tell him he looks like an entrepreneur, an attorney, an influencer, 
an analyst, an accountant, mm -hmm. a CEO, not just a ball player. Black boys can excel at all things, not just sports. We know that. Mm. How do you feel about this post? Was it from a tall black boy? <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't understand. because it could just he could just be having a bad day and then he made that post and that's like more of an emotional. It was post. a woman. Okay. So, <laughs> so is this is this? <laughs> be honest. Is this like saying that um, telling your motherfucking kid that they are good in sports and they be sorry as fuck? What? You know how they be? No, I don't think it's the like same that? as that. Nah. I, I, what he's saying is you know how like people are just giving everybody the good enough trophy. So we just oh, yeah, we yeah. build our kid up. You can be president one day and like you know, you're dumb as fuck. You can't be president. You hella good. No, I don't I don't think that's, that's what this so, is. Coach so, is just saying so, like when so, you see tall people don't just tall tell black boys. So, tall black boys don't just tell them they're going to be so basketball because, players. Because the, because the stereotype is that, you know, in the black community overall, majority of them think that, you know, the two sports is basketball and football. But there are other things that you can do, yeah. you know, outside of that. It's pretty much what the, the lady is saying, I guess. So, which which is true. You know what I'm saying? They just have to expand the mindset. You know what I'm saying? And just because all tall players are not really, really good at basketball. I got a cousin that's got damn seven, damn near seven feet. You know what I'm saying? And he, you would think that he did, he would be like dominating on the court, but well, that's that, that's that's, back, that's backwards. That's though. not yeah. See, that's not <laughs> yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I mean, I, I that's mean, exactly but someone, so, so, someone he has no told, choice. Someone should have told that nigga early on <laughs> to be a Hoover, and then he could have put his focus into that, and then he could have been good by now. And yeah, then he, he so this is the thing. I, I I feel like this. If you are tall. And athletic, you like playing basketball. Try my nigga, this shit is At least fucking Steph D1. Curry getting forty million a year, Russell Westbrook thirty eight, Chris Paul getting thirty eight this year, Kevin Durant thirty eight. He ain't not I even mean, playing. So, uh, uh, well, you're talking about salaries, they and these get, are they can get free rides, and those college. are right, and that's just in the, you know if you get the pro, you, you can get a free education. education. This is the thing, uh, well, milk that shit. I wouldn't tell a fucking nerd not to be fucking smart. If nigga, if you tall and you can play basketball, I'm going to tell your ass to try to play basketball. That's some dumb shit. Yeah, but you should also tell them that do, to, to just be versatile on other things just in case basketball doesn't sure. work out because of injuries, mm. shit like that. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can do everything at once. No, that's not right. everything at once, but like just not limit himself to just basketball only. Like, so, so you agree with it a little bit? Yeah. The post. You agree with the post a little bit? I agree with the post a little bit, but I don't think it's about being tall. Just anybody. Any well, we're talking about tall black boys. The next time you see a tall black boy, did yeah. you even look at the post? It's in yeah, the, it's yeah, in but the, I don't yeah. think when I see a tall black boy, I don't think about he should just be a basketball player. I'm gonna try to ask that nigga, do you hoop? I'm gonna ask him, yeah, see, do you play ball? That. I do ask that, yeah, that's, of course, that's, that's we what do. The poster is the post, the person who posted this image is saying that when you see a tall black boy, don't just say, hey, you know, where do you play ball? Tell him he can be a lawyer, a doctor, a, a, a CEO, or that's just work. We're talking about playing. Well, we're playing. I got, all, all that shit is. Work, I got a different perspective. Right? We're talking about playing basketball. I was closer to your first. Your first statement. Here's mm. my thing, right? Um, how many black attorneys do you know? Uh, a fucking lot. Yeah. How many black entrepreneurs are there? A lot. A whole a lot. lot. Right. A bunch of them now on Instagram too. This is this is a bullshit post. This person is racist. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This person is fucking racist. We already got lots of fucking doctors and lawyers and CEO. We have those, right? Well, why too? If you count right. outside of America, how many motherfuckers are special enough to be a ball player? Right, four hundred. That's special, right? Name the last time you saw a tall Indian dude and said, "Hey, man, do you hoop?" You didn't. Nope. Why not? Because they suck at fucking hoop. Black dudes are the best right. at basketball. So you're That's telling nice. me we're going to take away your biggest fucking asset, your best chance to be a millionaire? We're going to take that away because we're going to be the we're gonna take the moral high ground and make sure you can be an att fuck attorney. Fuck attorney. Half of them don't even make money like that. Uh, there are uh, lots of fucking mediocre ass attorneys. Being an attorney does not mean you're going to be rich first of all. Yeah. Being right. an entre entrepreneur of a fucked up whack business, yeah. you're going to be broke as shit. <laughs> right. You're going to be in the red, right? Being the CEO who Fucked gets up caught credit. up in some... Uh, first of all, there, maybe CEO and ball player might be kind of a little bit more level. Sure. There aren't a lot of black CEOs of major companies. Right. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, if you're tall enough to fuck. be a ball player uh, and you don't try... I'm going to tell you right now. Fuck you. I'm going to tell you right now. What? If you have the opportunity to be... If, if the money is comparable, right? Right. To be a fucking CEO 
of a Fortune 500 company. Right. Or play basketball for a living. Right. Nigga, you better play fucking hoop. You still. You, you, you but but no. You but, get the I mean, but no, your job is a lot fucking less stressful. Yeah, but you, being a CEO. But you could be a CEO is, longer. But th- uh, listen. Being a CEO yeah. still carries enough weight to where that's a special thing. No, I understand, but the right. stress level. The 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 amount of uh, work. Bat- oh, bat- 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 what if you LeBron? LeBron gotta no. worry about winning every year. So that's Have a you lot of seen stress. LeBron on Tuesdays? Yeah, he's Dark eating tacos. Older. Do you think he gives a fuck about what is LeBron worrying about? The, the money kind of makes up. What for is LeBron worrying you're about? You're right. The money makes up for LeBron it. LeBron ain't worrying about shit. My thing though is people who make posts like this are dumb as shit. That we have, we have black entrepreneurs. We have those people. We have lots of them. Do you really believe black people don't know they can be entrepreneurs? That's what I'm saying. Do you really believe black people don't know they can be attorneys? They just don't want to be. <laughs> I'm telling you that if you have a kid that's six, eight, six, yeah. seven, six, hoop, six, nigga. and you have not even given him the opportunity, you have not even given him a little bit of hoop, like you haven't even just laid it out there, hey man, here's a ball, you want a ball? And this is the thing, black, uh, what is it, think and grow rich, uh-huh. there's a fucking theory, he talks about burning the fucking ships, Right. you know, when you fucking landed the fucking emperor fucking or whoever they was at war, they fucking all of, they landed, they burnt the ships, it's like, look nigga. Ain't no going back. Right. Ain't no we, plan B. And, and there ain't no plan B. We either do this or we don't. Right. Yeah. Fucking get your nigga into some fucking camps. Don't have him try to be great at everything. And then maybe, you know, he could fucking be something. But you want to have him play fucking baseball, too, and fucking this and that. No. Big yeah. niggas, black niggas, who? Just give him a basketball. If you don't like it, so what? He'll love you later. My daughter did that shit. Did. I, let her, I let her fucking choose, you know, ah, she didn't want to play sports until later in life. And then she realized that she could have been good if she had started earlier on. Right. And she's like, why you didn't make me? Well, eh, yeah. I, I didn't know it was my job to make you. I know it made me. I like playing basketball. Right. You know what I mean? Fuck it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But Someone argued me. I, I, I run this. Whenever I have a topic or something that's like this that could be, you know what I'm saying, something that could piss somebody off, ruffle feathers, I always run it by people. And they were saying, well, you should tell your kid, you know, to play ball, but they should all. First of all, your kids should be smart. If they're not smart, then... They better play ball. You gotta have right. You gotta have a two point. Like if your kid, one way out. If your kid isn't smart, they better fucking be good at right, ball. Right. So we're talking about kids who have moderate <laughs> intelligence in here, right? But moderately intelligent kids can be attorneys. Right. You don't have to be a genius to be an attorney. No. You don't hard. have to be a genius to own a company. No. Just work Let's hard. Just, come on, man. I'm saying that this racist to not. Because I've never looked at a, a tall interview like, man, I wonder where he plays ball. Never. Never. And and if a, if I look at a seven foot black dude and he's like I don't hoop I'm like nigga what happened? Yeah. <laughs> like, he was raised by white people. Like right. where, where were you raised? No at? white people no. Yeah, right. white, white people had, white people had that they, dude. They would have blindsided his ass. Yes, they would have blindsided that nigga ass. Yeah, they got that nigga and put him right into football, bro. Yeah. I don't I don't you know black people they are the best at basketball. Yeah. Because most time when you see a tall motherfucker like that and, they, and you find out that they don't play basketball or some type of sport, you'd be like, waste of fucking talent. You know, waste of a good body and shit like that. You know, it's just real fucked up. Like yeah. I was saying. It could be a tight end. It could be a tight end. <laughs> nah, I mean, yeah, you could, oh, I yeah, guess. But, but you know basketball, what I'm if you six, eight, If you're like past six, seven, play basketball. Come on. Because football is just going to break Unless your you're fat, then you'd be a lineman. Yes, okay, play ball. Yeah. But, but, but football, though, there are a lot of good white football players. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There are there are a lot of Samoan good football. There are a lot of different nationalities That's, football. Players. We don't we don't dominate like we do. Basketball, basketball. is right. black people. Right. And if you football. see a young a young tall boy and and guess who else is looking at that tall boy like that? Coaches. There's no other sport that we dominate like basketball as far as a black people. So I'm saying the opposite of this post. If you see a tall black boy, ask him how you can help him live realize his dream. Maybe he, he needs some money for AAU or something. Hey, ninety percent of the league is black. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is it, what is it for the NFL? Like seventy? Yeah, it's not that high. Because you got to you got to understand. There's yeah, it makes work, sense. Work, all the quarterbacks are mostly the, white. The, 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 all the, the linemen are mostly guys, white. You got yeah. the linebackers. You got some Kluklies and worst case scenario, you could be a fucking attorney if it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? But, you can still do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Worst off case of a scenario. free scholarship if you fucking actually balled out in high school. I mean, you know, the average person has doesn't even have an attorney job. The average person has a much worse job than an right. attorney, right. and they get by. They do fine. But I don't think I don't think pretending that black people don't know they can be entrepreneurs or attorneys or doctors or whatever else was on that list. That's just silly. It's silly as fuck. And and honestly, she changed it. So at first it said uh, tall black boy. At the end it says black boys can be anything they want. Come on, it's not. A, we're not talking about any any black boy. Short black boys, yeah. 
I think go the, to school, nigga. I think the goal is learn, just learn a t- learn some shit. Like you know, you gotta learn attorney or whatever. But if you're tall, hey, you might have a shot, bro. If that nigga just grow up and don't work at a Walmart, yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it Walmart for your son, stripper pole for your daughter. You'd be like, fuck it, I made it. Because yeah. <laughs> Walmart's ain't safe. They're not safe? They're not safe. Oh, cause they shooting it at Walmart. They're not safe. They know. If you if you want to fuck up with the disenfranchised, the minorities, mm-hmm. the you you want to just go and you want to you don't know where they hang out, you can go to Walmart. Oh. That's why I don't fuck with Walmart no more. I didn't already, last week I'm serious, Target. Whatever. I'm all about that Target. Who we fattening up today? So I know Jake Smooth, but who? Which one of y'all going against Jake Smooth? Uh, French Reggie, have you gone? No, no, wow. You want to go against? Yeah, I'll go. All right, so Jake Smooth, you got headphones, or you want to step out, or what you want to do? I will put some headphones on. He's gonna put. Go ahead. Trust those fake AirPods. Hey, fuck your holy ass shirt, motherfucker. All right, hold on one second. Uh, He's so impressed. Right. Are those in headphones impressive? (laughs) (laughs) No. So, so you're more impressed with a white dude watching his girl get fucked than you are with Jay Smooth's wireless earbuds. Yes. Jay Smooth, how much you pay for those earbuds? Seventy nine bucks. How come you can hear us? See, that's all I wanted. That's all I, ain't I wanted. Got it on yet? Uh huh. Get the fuck out of here, man. Well, is so, it is it music trivia or what? No, oh, it, it, but it's, it's live though, so people are waiting on you, Smooth. Uh, okay. You could just get the fuck off. Because you be cheating. Is it playing? Uh-oh. I could tell by the way he looked at me. What, are you going to smash him in your ear? Hold on, man. I'm oh, just to step out. This shit ain't connect. This shit ain't These old bootsy-ass <laughs> things, man. You could have just bought the AirPods. You should have just got the AirPods, bro. Hey, they don't hey. work. Do AirPods work with Samsung? Yeah. Bluetooth should work with Bluetooth. Yeah. It just won't be as, like, user-friendly. Like you won't be able to just open it and it connect automatically, like you know, with an Apple. Yeah, my, my there's some, that. there's some, there's some way that it they'll probably it fucking it sabotage it that shit. Here we go. So you got something playing? What you playing? <sighs> sorry, sorry, listeners. Cheating that shit. Sorry, listeners. <laughs> I'm not coming to get you, so I'm a not. Stop playing and just listen to the door. Yeah, of course he is. I would. <laughs> all right, so you ready for a <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. All right, so you know how this works, right? You can pass. Yeah, yeah. But I need you to give... Don't don't take forever, okay? Okay. All right. Which bone is known as the patella? The knee. All right. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? How many what? Teaspoons are in a tablespoon. Hmm. Hmm. Ten. All right. Which gender has the XY chromosome in human beings? Males. All right. What does the abbreviation IMHO mean? IMHO? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Pass for now. Okay. What does a Scoville unit measure? Pass for now. Right. <laughs> What mathematical symbol could you place between four and seven to get a number larger than four and smaller than seven? Larger than four, Mm -hmm. but smaller than seven? Mm -hmm. Greater than or equal to. Okay. And um, what does the abbreviation IMHO mean? IMHO. (laughs) (laughs) Um, There was another one I passed. What was that one? Something about skulls. (laughs) What does a Scoville unit measure? Skulls. (laughs) Skulls. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, oh, you're done? Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I don't know the IMHO. All right, smooth. He can't get them to stop now. He don't know how to make them stop. They wouldn't start. Now they won't <laughs> they stop. Take them off. <laughs> they still playing. That's cool. Come on. We got people waiting. All right. French, you sweat, nigga. It's, this shit is over. Nigga. Oh, you're going you gonna to win this? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Let's I go. Half of those shits. Nigga, shut up, nigga. Which bone is known as a patella smooth? The patella bone? Um, the, <laughs> you said a patella bone, right? Which bone is known as the patella? It's right there in, in your motherfucking knee. I ruptured my patella. What are you saying? What's the answer? <laughs> Which it's, bone is known as the patella? You got your femur. Tell me, you got the femur right here is the big bone. The patella right here is by the kneecap, by your kneecap. Which bone is known as the patella? He said bye. He it's, said, it's, yeah, a, it's a bone, brother. Which bone? State of bone. It's known as the patella. Just give me the word. Not what it's by. 
It's a bone. It's a bo- which it's a- bone is known as the patella, my nigga? No, I'm not showing you. I'm saying I'm saying which bone is known as the patella? Nigga, my knee. Okay, how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Um, uh, one tablespoon equals four teaspoons. Okay, hold Wh- on, two teaspoons. My bad. Okay. Uh, no, four. Okay. Which gender has the XY chromosomes in human beings? Which gender? Mm-hmm. Nick, which gender has the XY? <laughs> Nick, all of us got all of us got XY. Okay. Which gender? Yes. You, you can put transgender in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which so, which gender? Come on, man. So so man and woman has both have both of us have XY. Okay. What does the abbreviation IMHO mean? <laughs> I M H O abbreviation I M H O I M H O what abbreviation? What does that abbreviation I M H O mean? Why is that so funny to me? Say it, Jason. Just sound it out. I M H O. I'm a hoe. That's what I thought at first. And you said what? Say that again. Be honest. What abbreviation has I M H O in it? What does the abbreviation I M H O mean? Independent, mature, hostile. I don't know shit. Osmosis. I don't know, know, be honest. Okay. um, What does a Scoville unit measure? A what? A Scoville. Never heard of that word. What does that measure? A Scoville. Scoville. Scoville measure. What does it measure? What does a Scoville unit measure? It measures your brain. All right. Your head. Your your. your, I never heard of that word before. Last one. What mathematical symbol could you place between four and seven? To get a number larger than four and smaller oh. than seven. I didn't hear that question well. What mathematical symbol that you can put between four and seven? Seven. Mm-hmm. That gets you a number larger than four, four. and smaller than seven. So what mathematical number you put Come between? On, Hold on. You're Four n- and seven. Hold you, on. You Hold have, on, nigga. Hold you have on. No clue though. Hold on. <laughs> it's the pie. Square root. What are you doing? E. Fucking around. What's he doing? He's it's fucking e. around. Oh, what is he doing? With his it was the shit. I. So you said ma- what mathematical? What right. mathematical symbol could you place between nigga, four? Nigga, it's only minus plus division. Okay, you're done. Yes. Division. Divide. 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 Okay. All right. What bone is known as the patella? Both you guys. I'm gonna give you credit. It's the kneecap, but I'll give you knee. That's good enough. I don't know, nigga. You tore your patella. I don't understand. I know, nigga. That's the knee. But, but I tore my. Pat- I didn't tear my kneecap though. But what the fuck was that tendon connected to? The it's patella. the patella. That's when that shit was dragging on the ground. What was that? It was your kneecap, my nigga. Nigga, no, your nigga. My, my, like this. My, <laughs> like this. Did they put a plate or did you just... No, nigga. That's just in your head. Go ahead, be honest. Oh. <laughs> How many why, are you, why are you so defensive about your knee? Go ahead. Go ahead. How many yeah. teaspoons are in a tablespoon? What would you say? I said 10. 10. And what you said? Nigga, four. I said four. four. And two. two. And four. back to four. four. It's actually three. I don't know that one at all. Nigga, where the fuck you get 10 from? I don't nigga, know. You talking about know. a cup. You were wrong, Chief. You were wrong. Okay, you were wrong. I, 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 I was wrong. I was Why are you talking then? shit, but you wrong? All right. Nigga, I was close. One and one. All right. He was closer, though. What gender has the XY chromosomes in human beings? I'm not defending you. That's know. all males. Males are XY. Women are XX. That's why men are better, because we have both chromosomes. If you had said transgender, oh. you probably could have half what a you, point. What you say? Only if it was a transgender woman. Yeah, male. I said males. He got it right. So it's 2-1. Okay. What does the abbreviation IMHO mean? Right, I thought what, I, what, what did French Reggie get? What's the other one he got? The knee. He got the knee. Okay, and yeah, the, he yeah. Gave you that. I thought that you would have got this millennial. Like y'all, y'all say stuff like LOL in a sentence. Yeah, but I yeah. never use IMHO. Never? No. You never in my honest it? opinion, bro. Yeah. In oh, my honest shit. opinion, in my humble opinion, in my honest opinion. I've never heard that shit. I thought you were gonna this say I'm a homo. <laughs> People be abbreviating that? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right, uh, what does a Scoville unit measure? I you guys know. are both retarded. Again. I, I never heard of the word so Scoville. You never watched you, Man vs. Food? Or have you ever Not watched really? that show where they, they like have an interview with Kevin Hardaway and they're eating hot wings and they have the Scoville rating for the next oh. hot sauce? So it's spiciness. Oh. You've spiciness. never seen Man vs. Food and any of the stuff he eats is hot. He talks about the Scoville. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Never been. So it's, it measures spiciness? Spiciness, yeah. Two like peppers and shit like that. That's Two-two. cool. What mathematical symbol could you place between four and seven See, I heard to that get question a number wrong. larger than four and smaller than seven? Do you have now? 
No, nah, um, you still don't know. You said you heard but it, but I heard it completely. Okay, wrong. so now you heard it right. What's the answer? <laughs> you I, still don't I like know. how you tried. It. Yeah, I heard it completely. You tried wrong. to pretend like you were smart because I said else. greater than or equal to because I thought you were talking about what number listen, is what a mathematical large? symbol. Listen. Yeah, what you put between I don't know. four and seven no. to have a, to create a number greater than four and less oh. than seven. Why you, so, why you oh, oh, you got it. What is it? Why you try my first strategy like that? Because he was like, why you call him out there? Because he played like he knew. No, I never said I knew. I just said I heard that question wrong. Because that's all. Hold on. What? The greater than less than? That's what he just said and it was wrong. Yeah. So now how you going to sit there and listen yeah. to him? He said greater than less than. Because I thought the question was which number it could be greater. You said which symbol could. No, I didn't. was fucking you Early. up. Oh. I was fucking you, you was. up. Okay. Of course. A decimal point. Yeah. A decimal yeah, point. you right. Because 4.7 is more than 4 and 4.7 is less than 7. A mathematical symbol you can put between 4 and 7. Yeah. I just wasn't was thinking about decimals that. at that time. Was you was thinking you knew it was decimals? I was going to say period. Yeah. I wasn't. I really thought I the question. I got that shit. Oh, okay. You wouldn't have got that shit. I nigga, got you wasn't good in math, nigga. General uh, math, nigga. Just, decimals was the they last thing in my mind. <laughs> they didn't cover that in what? General math. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing they <laughs> That's kind of like a riddle. That wasn't in general math. <laughs> yeah. right. Go ahead. What's the next question? That's, that's, it. that's, that's it. it. So I got two. Yeah, you got two. He got one. Oh, cool. Out of seven questions? Five. Five. God it six. damn. It was actually six this time. Because uh, that last r- riddle, I thought that was, you know, I thought somebody would maybe get it. I, I actually thought Smooth shit. would get that one. I almost had that well, shit. Well, you just with numbers Because you know how savants are, man. You know, it's like you just wouldn't assume that that'd be the one. He'd be like 4.7 <laughs> decimal point. <laughs> Um, I thought he would. I thought he would like, shock. The I thought he was gonna world. get the Scoville thing because I thought that was like some technology. Because eating. Because eating. No, I thought it was oh, some technology shit. Because he eats. I did in French. Next, next one. I got that shit. Next Hands one. Down. What? Next, next motherfucking challenge. Hands down, I got challenge. This shit. You mean yeah. like the, the trivia? Yeah, I got uh-huh. that shit. Hands down. But that was a good one though. That was good shit though. Mm. And you throw that Patilla shit in there. The fuck with me? It's like man. I was trying to get Jace move friendly. Friendly. Maybe you fattened me up. What? Because you called the nigga savant. <laughs> So okay, you know what? No, no, you no, threw no. me off. No, no, listen. I, right. I, I didn't add the first word. Okay, the because idiot I savant? The idiot. Okay, it's an idiot okay. savant. Okay, I didn't want to disrespect him to his face. Okay. I was gonna tell you later, idiot okay. savant. Because I'm, I'm down with that. Right. I had to, I, when you didn't, you just gave him a savant. You know I what? Like, you too much no, 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 no. Fuck me. That's a good thing. Being an idiot savant is a good thing. Read the fucking definition um, of a savant. Yes. This well, is it this is what you are not. This a savant is someone over the top smart, a scholar. It might take a savant only five minutes to do an entire math test. You, my nigga, have never been confused <laughs> with just a savant. <laughs> Look up idiot savant now. Okay. <laughs> and you need to prep for too the next one, too. Too smart for his own good. Uh? Too smart for his own good? No. Good guess, though. Okay. Idiot savant. A person who has a mental or learning disability but is extremely <laughs> gifted in a particular way. Such as performing <laughs> tricks for, for, for treats. <laughs> that, that explains it all now. No, Jay Mac be asking shit. Fuck you, Jay. Fuck you two motherfuckers. Yeah, what's get ready for the next one, Jay Mac. <laughs> Fucking clown. Oh, it really says that. It shit. does say it's your topic. I thought you made that last Ooh, one. Who is really uh, shows up too? Huh? Nigga, cut that ugly ass beard off. Come on, Jay Mac. Get ready. Nigga. I hope you choke over that nigga. Why are you mad, bro? Fuck oh, that. Why you always want to grow man to choke? Mouth. Huh? Why would I be doing? Because you into motherfucker watching niggas eat cum, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you jacked Friends your dick man, Honestly, this nigga watched the nigga. He told me it was impressive. I watched this guy. Again, he was fucking mind. other nigga, and I couldn't believe my dick stayed hard too. It was never too. that action. It was the mindset. You gonna drink that? or You gonna keep playing with it? I need a mixer. I need something to mix it with. Maybe, maybe you drink that vodka. when you watch your porn tonight with the nigga. <laughs> no, nah, I was thinking about the cum. That's what I was thinking. About. <laughs> mix it, mix <laughs> it with, them, with the mandingos. <laughs> that mix it with. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. I, I don't know how impressive that is. And then the funny thing that you said that that was less weird than stepbrother, stepsister type shit, which I I don't condone that either. Those get, let's, let's be clear. That's, that, that's your stepsister. I don't. Okay. But you're there's no blood relation. You licking another dude's come up is not like after he fucks your woman. Okay. That, so what's. That, that, that's some weird shit. So you're saying backwards. gay sex is weirder than. Um, no, gay sex is not weirder than. 
a birth. Okay, because it's step. Because you can just see okay, no blood. Okay, moving along. Okay, that's fair. Because yeah. it's not a blood relation. I still look at it as a sister. I don't really believe. No, in I step agree. Sister. I agree. Until it's you're me. fucking her, then you gotta say, "Yo, you're my step <laughs> sister." <laughs> yeah, you have to at that point. But generally speaking. <laughs> You my sister. Yo, if you still look at your stepsister as your sister, why you got your dick in there? It's impressive, You're a right? fucking monster. He's, he's, like, he's like, it's impressive how I can still look at you as my sister and still keep my dick hard. <laughs> Again, state of mind. That's fucking like, I, I just want to have an interview with those guys to ask them what trauma they went through or what caused them to like that. Because that's the only correlation I have to actually enjoying your wife. Again, fuck by another man. No, you said it's next level of love. He's giving her what she wants. He can't satisfy her. So he's allowing her to be satisfied by someone else. So you think it's because he can't fuck her, right? That's what it's that come on, bro. You watch these videos. Yeah, it's always a corny white guy, but it's I, it's because he's not giving her the dick right, right? Yeah. Uh, is that equivalent yeah. to handmade tail? She can't motherfucking give him a baby, so she gotta watch. A lot of niggas him. not giving a dick right, but they ain't ready to do that though. That's because they don't got that kind of love. They don't. They're not willing to sacrifice their ego. So you think that's love or and it's, it's control? Ego, it's e- control. Like control the woman's what? controlling the men. Uh, like dominatrix shit or some shit. No, because the dude has to be down with that. You can't. You can't force a dude into fucking liking you to get fucked by other dudes. You got to be into that or not. That's not something you can. A girl can make you. Uh, I don't know. You think. You think a girl could make you like watch that? Her? Hell no. Okay. No. I don't know, man. No, I'll just leave. All right. Like it's, it's over. <laughs> so, no, but yeah. Um, let me ask you guys. We we've had this shit. We were talking about fucking Walmart yeah. and all these fucking shootings. Um, there was you know the whole El Paso shit. And, Rest in peace. And the thing about it is, right? You, they, you guys talked about it on Black on Both Sides. Yeah, we um, kind of yelled about it. Yeah, and and first off, I know King Kuta's from Texas, but I even I didn't even look it up, and I know that my geography is not my strong suit. But I'm pretty sure that El Paso is not on the border. Not it's not like knocked up against Mexico. I thought it was. It's in a panhandle. It's up at the top part of Texas. Uh, is it the top? I heard that's why there's a lot of Mexicans there. All I know like is right I, there. I had a I had a holdover in a, on a flight one time in El Paso. Okay. It didn't seem like you it didn't was feel the, like you were by Mexico I, no, in the I, airport. Yeah. Did you even step out of the airport? No, I, I, I didn't step out of the airport. But you you know when you're down by the border, you know. Yes, my nigga. Everything turns Mexican. Like when you're close to like the border, border like Mexico, the towns uh-huh. are straight Mexican. Well, I mean, you're in an airport. To be fair, though. Eh, but if it's a Mex, if it's a border airport, why would you even put a fucking airport by the border? That makes no sense. <laughs> to to, to, oh, to get there. <laughs> no, no. Just, I mean, that's that. Nobody wants to get that close to fucking Mexico. Like, I mean. Why? Why would you? Like, why would you want to be... I can see it the other way around. No, no. No, you don't want to have any issues. Like, why would you want to be like, oh, let's just see how close we can get to fucking danger and not... You know what I mean? No. Danger? Yeah. Mexico is danger. Go ahead, man. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sound like Trump. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, dude. <laughs> and I'm just saying... All the that Mexicans it, get on them. No, because it was it was put in, you know, of course, that's what Trump's doing, right? Trump It's Trump's fault. Because mm. this dude wanted to kill... Black and brown people. That's what I'm hearing, right? He wanted to, he wanted to, he went to the most Mexicanest place he can find. Come on, man. Texas is pretty fucking Mexican. You can shoot anywhere in Texas and hit a Mexican. Yeah. It's not like it's, they're not hard. It's like we're in Texas aren't Mexicans. Well, okay. So I mean, but my point is, oh, how is <laughs> how how is Trump? You know, in his uh, this word, I like it, rhetoric. Because mm-hmm. he's had this rhetoric, right? right. He, he's a uh, Hold racist, on, stand by. racist rhetoric. Jason, rhetoric. All this bullshit he be talking. No. It's a good synonym, though, you use. No. no. Bullshit. No, it's not. That's All not the no words. Is. All the just the... the, the uh, Look it up, man. The, the uh, noise. Noise? Yeah. No, noise equals rhetoric? No. Look it up. You know how to spell it? It's R-H, just to help you. Why would you I say that? Because he, he's I not going to... how to fuck the spell. <laughs> Why are you upset? <laughs> You said bullshit and noise was the definition for rhetoric. You win like one out of every hundred trivias, and you're mad because people think you're dumb. Shut the fuck he, up. Um, I don't think you're dumb, Jason. Let him continue saying what you were saying, because he's going to take him forever <laughs> to find that <laughs> definition anyway. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Oh, I'm proud. Fuck you, <laughs> bastard. Uh, it said, the art of effective or persuasive speaking or writing. The art so, of what? 
So wait a minute. That <laughs> can't be. <laughs> that cannot be the definition. That's actually the use of, of figures of speech and other compositional techniques. Because he's just defining the essay version of rhetoric. Oh, oh, well, come on. There's got to be more Because there's an the essay version of that's rhetoric. That's the first one. And that's the how first you write one. the Go rhetoric. keep going. Rhetorical analysis. Language is designed to have a persuasive or impressive effect on its audience. Okay. But yeah. often regarded as lack of... In, of <laughs> regarded as lacking in sincerity or a meaningful content. There we go. Okay. Cause no, what was, okay. La- oh, what was the last word? Content. Content? Yeah. C-O-N-T-N-T? Okay. C-O-N-T-N-T. C-O-N-T-N-T. Read that again now that you know that's the right one. Okay. I read the first one, which no, is no. a name. Yeah, but yeah. you knew that wasn't the right one we were talking uh-huh. about, right? Yeah. You said read the definition. He was considered <laughs> excel in this form of rhetoric. <laughs> Language designed to have a persuasive or impressive effect on its audience. But often regarded as lacking in sincerity or meaningful content. Content. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't. So rhetoric is stuff that he says, but he doesn't mean. Well, most of the stuff I think most of Donald Trump says he doesn't really mean. I think he's just doing it. He just be trolling, and he just get on the master skin troll. He know he can do that shit. He's a better troll than millennials. That's crazy, man. <sighs> we created that shit. No, you didn't. No, gosh, oh. that's what you're. Are you part. fucking kidding? They think they created millennials everything. created trolling. I'm talking about in that media level. Are you kidding? Are you you got to be kidding? I'm talking about in that social media level. He's not kidding. We're the only ones. We're the generations that had social media. Y'all never had it. Media. We have it the same time you have it. Yeah, but who's who really does it? Grown forty year old man be trolling? Obviously. I don't know a Outside better troll. Trump. I don't know a better Outside of Trump. I don't know a better troll on this show than me. I don't know a better troll in the Slack room. Yeah, but you're not doing it in social. Well, outside of the Slack room. What are you talking about? Does it matter if it's social media or not? Well, I was talking in the aspects of social media, just like I was talking in the aspect of the state of mind, not the action. But go ahead. What? He was talking He's trying to defend his cum sucking. Dude, you, you sucking. would eat cum. It's, 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 no, he said, he said never it's worth said that. I said the matter of the dude versus... <laughs> I'm just, he said he was so nobody into Nobody watching or at this table thinks for a second that you wouldn't eat that cum. We, we, ne- we're I'm all pretty sure. Cum. What percent? Well, I'm, about, I'm about 52% sure that he would gobble up that nut. Fuck that. Nah. I'm 98. <laughs> Because you do it all the time. You were I'm a you were friend. I'm 102% nigga with a 2% margin of error. So I think you would do the shit. Would you, would you uh, nut in a girl's mouth and kiss her afterwards? You've done that. That's not She good. swallowed it, but I did that. Yeah. Mm, but can you swallow? Yeah, no, you she, still, she, she could the, swallow. I've seen somebody swallow and it's still. You know, you still got that residue slime. Residue, right? The slime is in there. So but it was my nut. Tongue? Those are my kids. Oh, hey. So, so, so hey, we're on a so, Would hey. you lick your own nut off a chick? Nah. I wouldn't. She got to swallow it at least. Cause Wait a minute. Yeah, that energy just kind of dissipated. Like it was here, and you're like, it's my own nut, my yeah. own kids. And then it was like, just, would you? Yeah. And you're yeah, like, yeah, oh. Yeah. Okay. What if What if she wiped it up, you know, and it's just a little trail, you know, just a little slime on her stomach? Would you Would you lick it? It's not a glob of nut. It's just like the, like the. Just the, the residue. It's just the snail trail a little bit. Just, a, that just the residue. I'm sorry, I derailed us. We're going back to that. No, hold up. Would you, Fred Reggie? I don't. I don't the, would you? The only way I'll kiss a girl where my I'll no. only kiss a girl lick, where my nut lick is. her tummy where the where the nut just was after she wipe it off, but it's just a still a wet, it's still a wet. Not. But I'm okay. But you would you would kiss her if she had nut in her mouth and she swallowed it first or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you would put nut in your mouth. Mine. Male nut. I mean, Mine. yeah, yeah. No, Mine. I got you, but you but you would technically put male nut in your mouth. Cool. Let's go on. Yeah. We're closer. With mines. We're closer, Don't man. Don't just Come say on. with nut. Just with I mean, your own DNA. So you would swallow your own kids. <laughs> just recycling your babies, <laughs> man. Fuck that. Like you that. You don't want to waste <laughs> no good nut, friend. You got to shit like that. <laughs> you got your kids that they haven't met the um. That's what it is. The man. egg. Okay. You got to at least meet the egg. <laughs> However, whatever makes you feel comfortable <laughs> about it. <laughs> whatever makes you feel comfortable so about it. kids Eating yet. male nut. <laughs> nut with X Y in it. Oh, so. I'm just this guy, right? Right. The the shooter. The shooter. Okay. You know, Trump said something that, that I thought should be more talked about than other shit. He said maybe this dude had a mental problem. Yeah. And and I think that Whoa, whoa, French Reggie's offended. He's triggered. No, no, no. I think I that I just took a deep breath. I think no, you that, like No, I think that it's easy to say that a person that could go into a Walmart and kill random people 
has some sort of mental illness. That's I think, easy to say? I think it's very easy to say. Why do people get so mad when you say that, though? You get a cop out. Every time a white person does something that's crazy, it, you say it, it's mental illness. That's mental fucking illness. That's mental? <laughs> as mental as you can get. fucking illness. There's I don't care if they're white, black, brown, whatever. It doesn't matter. The, the, if you have the capability right. to go into and randomly shoot kids, women, anybody without yeah. discretion, right. there is something not... There, your your brain has a another gear, another fucking compartment. Right. It, it's it's got something that most humans don't have that we don't fuck with. We right. don't get down like that. Right. That that takes a different level of fucking. That doesn't discount the fact that the media will say a black person is just a criminal. Right. They don't got shit to do with this guy. Right. This guy who's actually in a Walmart shooting is mentally fucking ill. Yes. That's clear. You don't think so? I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think that. I mean, I'm gonna take a different stance. So I don't think necessarily that they're, they're mentally ill. You have people out there in the world who will try to outdo the next person. So you know, with that being said, <laughs> You're right? Proving the point. With with, with that is, being said, right? so no. Hold so on, that's not, that doesn't necessarily mean that you you got to be mentally ill. It's motherfuckers out there that say shit. I'm gonna try to outdo the next motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like so so so. Let me ask, let me give ask you this guy. You guys this question. So the motherfucking Islamic people that put the fucking bomb around their chest, and they be like, oh, la, 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 la. doom, they, the motherfucking mentally ill. No, yes. the yes. motherfuckers doing it for a, a, a cause. Yes. What they, cause? They're doing it for the motherfucking cause of Allah, whoever the fuck it be. Who doesn't, it doesn't exist. They're brainwashed. That doesn't you know even fucking exist. Saying, so if you're brainwashed, saying, that means something's wrong with your brain. Yeah. You, <laughs> so you're mentally yeah. ill? Yes. If you're brainwashed? If uh, you, if you say, I want to do better than that last guy, and doing better includes killing kids and babies? You're fucking twisted. You are mentally ill if that's your better than. Like, you couldn't be better at something else. If you're just willing to kill people for likes, for to be more known, more that's, than that's, the next That thing. means you're mentally ill? Yes. Huh? <laughs> How <laughs> I don't. I, I don't if you're, think let's you're just mentally say this, ill. If you're a white supremacist and you're saying you're killing for the cause, you're still fucking mentally ill. Yes. Yes. You're mentally ill. If you believe that you have to rid the earth of black people, you are mentally ill. Check this out. Let me let's be clear. There are <laughs> so many more, so fucking many more white people that don't like black people that don't kill black people. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure of that. Then well, fucking Mexicans. white that then there are white people that hate Mexicans or racist people or whatever, any other race, and they go fucking into a store and fucking shoot up everybody. Most people can discern the difference between I really hate that black guy and I really hate that black guy, I want to kill him. There's a very, there's a wide, wide gap. And the people that say I hate that guy, I want to kill him, there's something wrong with them. And the fact that people don't, this is the thing, the fact that, I'm going to have to say it, the fact that black people want to lump all of them together, like that's all white racism right there. Like that, going into a fucking Walmart and killing minorities is what white racism it looks like. No, it ain't. Stop, you fucking dumbass. That's and what mental illness looks you're like. You're fucking up the cause. If you're really trying to get everybody to believe that this is what white supremacy is about. Because kill white people too, so that's how it lets you know. It just, it, it's just that's just dumb. That's not, that's not what it's about. The people, the, the, the more white supremacy, that shit that you should be afraid of, ain't that. It should be some other, it should be motherfuckers that you fucking got in Congress and other places that are fucking running shit that you have to deal with. Hold on. It should be people, this is what white supremacy is also, where at a job, black people can work in a department for over a year, yet they ship those black people out when they get the $90,000 job requisitions and they bring white people in to fill those positions, especially when it's two positions. So they're mentally ill? No, no, that's Nigga. that's white supremacy. That's not mentally ill. Yeah. If they kill those black people instead of hiring them, that's mental illness. Yes, that's so, the difference. So it, it's just I just think, man, it's just today, and I, I guess I'm, I'm looking at it a different way. I just think today with social media and with the outlets that we have, it's motherfuckers out there that's just trying to outdo the next person. That is you know mental saying? illness, so, though. If it includes killing people, yeah. if you're trying to outdo people by killing people, that's mental illness. Yeah. Who you, thinks that way? I mean, besides, <laughs> the, I'm always trying to outdo the, outdo the, you know, when I, when I'm fucking a chick, I'm trying to outdo you. Know, yeah, that's talking about that. fucking a girl. So that, so that's not mentally illness. I'm no, trying that, to, just, I'm well, trying to conquer hold on. and be the best. Uh, Ain't that some slight? Yeah, mental illness? Yeah, you got too? a little bit of mental illness yeah. because you you claim to be faithful and have a girl though. I'm fucking faithful. No, no, no. I don't say claim to have a girl. I have a girl. Say, say it louder. With an I'm, I'm faithful. fucking faithful. I'm faithful. I gotta be a drop somewhere. <laughs> I'm faithful. 
Yeah, but it's, so is that is that a mental illness when you're trying to outdo the net? Your case is not mental illness no, when it comes to no. strictly fucking. Now, if you gotta go rape a girl to outdo the dude, now nah, you mentally ill. If you give if people, you just if you giving people AIDS while you're doing it, that's mentally ill. That's true. But they got, if you just they, court her, they got they got the drugs that you come hey, up undetected. If you have a fever blister or a cold sore and you're eating her pussy. That's mental illness. Not if catching you, not herpes. If, not, if, not if you. No, he's, not if you put that. Oh, he on. has the. No, if you put the brief on, on, on and it's on, and it's and it's not in the, in a contagious state. Then you know what I'm saying. But so if, if you put a breather on, pussy good. Put put a bandaid over the top of that, and you good. You probably got hurt. Eat that bitch that. pussy with a ski mask on. Where you been? I've I've heard that episode. But I th- Where but you like, been? What are you talking? Why are you talking? Why are you talking to Jace Moo parables? Probably. <laughs> Maybe my only um I, I do agree with you with the whole I, mental illness thing. He yeah. has mental illness. I just they, want them to give us that energy when we are the mentally ill ones. Did they shoot? A crime. That, did they kill that motherfucker? No, no they arrested which him. One? So get no, the fuck no, out of here. Which one? They, which one? The, the Walmart one, dude. One, no, not the no, no, they arrested him. Yeah, they found him they, like down fuck the street. Fuck that! If, if it was a black nigga, he was mentally ill. They just shot the shit out. That's of not him. true though. Maybe. We don't know. I don't. That. I don't think they, they don't ain't know taking us in. Goddamn! That's the same. The motherfucker in goddamn Carolina. He shot. He bombed the church. Shot the fucking church up. They took that motherfucker in. Matter of fact, took him to get something to eat too. They do that to anybody. Nah, fuck that. Black people. They shoot the shit out of us. Nigga cut in Atlanta. Motherfucker run down with the clothes off and shit. They talking about mentally ill military veteran. They killed a dude in motherfucking Decatur in the motherfucking Atlanta talking about he was mental. He was mentally fucked up. Was they he? They killed him. Yeah, they shot and killed that motherfucker. But all the white people, they let these motherfuckers All the white alive. people live and all the black people die. They, they shouldn't gonna, kill any motherfuckers. I'm going to have to adamantly disagree. I've been pulled over probably about like seven, eight times since I've been in Georgia. <laughs> and been high. And, all, every, and, and had weed in the car. Every single time. Police, he don't do it anymore. Allegedly. He don't do it anymore. Allegedly. I got two tickets. They, all the other times they let me go. Yeah, they didn't even try to search you, right? Not they didn't try to search me. Yeah. One, the pipe was in the inside door frame, still smoking, smoldering. Oh, smell that. No, I had that ozone, ozonator shit. Ozone, works. ozone is the shit. It, listen, if you smoke weed and you drive around and that shit, you ozone commercial. Commercial. It's a free ad. Ozone, hit us up. Come on, man, hit us up. Ozone, I'm telling you, because shit, I need a, I need a lifetime supply of that shit. Here's the crazy thing, right? So, um, after Black on Both Sides yesterday, I had to find some cover, a, a picture for the episode, and I, I, I think I put um, in custody or something, in police custody, something like that, into right. Google Images, and in police custody or in custody, you know, how many black people I saw in custody walking calmly to their car. There was one guy who was a, sh- he was he was bloody. He had other people's blood on him, and they were walking. He was smiling. <laughs> black guy. All I'm saying is that every black person who gets stopped by the police does not die in that situation. Please, can you say that one more time? Every black person who gets stopped by the police does not die in that exchange. You're fucking majority lying. of black Hold people. Up. That stop, stop. That is stop. not true. Stop. I said majority of. I'm agreeing with oh, you. I'm saying the majority, majority of black, black people, people that get stopped by the police get taken do not into custody. Die. Normal. Oh, they just get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Stop being a coon right now. I'm not being a coon. No, that's just fact. Right, say it again. Then I, I just don't believe you. Black people do not n- just naturally die when they get stopped by the police. I've seen the videos. white people do not naturally just. I've seen the videos. And be there's honest. a bunch of other videos just showing the the other way. What about the too? guy in Sacramento? Be honest. What, uh, oh, I heard about a, I heard about the guy smoking cigarettes, selling cigarettes. Be honest. Some people, some black people die. Some white people die. Some people die dealing with the police. I'm not saying every police is a good police. I'm not saying every situation is above the board. I'm not saying there's no racism or police brutality. What I'm saying is, if someone is mentally ill. I have no problem just calling the dude mentally ill. He may also be a white supremacist or a racist or whatever else. But if you're shooting people that you think are different than you and you don't like them, you have a mental problem. You do. You do. First. Especially if this that's, your, that's your first problem. I, see, listen, I, I, could, I grew up being able to justify Crips and Bloods, right? Because there's, there's, there's some sort of a reason, right? Like, you shot my cousin. Or, you know what I'm saying, I know somebody who you shot. So there, it's personal, right? It, you've killed somebody from my neighborhood. It's, right. there's a, it's not just random. Even if it is random, it's random against a certain group that, again, I don't give a fuck. As long as you're the, all that group, you deserve it. That, I, I'm okay. I was able to wrap my head around that sort of mental illness growing up. Right. The random just anybody I don't know just in a fucking grocery store doing your own fucking thing, I... There's still that's a killing whole somebody n- in a gang is mental illness, right? No, I know that's okay. what I, I said that. I, I, I what I'm telling you, gotcha. is I was able to wrap my head around that mental gotcha. illness. The random just roll up into a fucking public square, 
your, your, next, just, your next Jay Smooth. And just God shoot damn. and just shoot somebody. Please let Jay Smooth talk next. Go ahead. And just shoot somebody. <laughs> that is a whole nother, I think again, where before, at least you have a reason. Someone did something to you, whether it was inadvertently or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It, you have something to go against. Just going into a store and just randomly killing people, innocent people, that is a whole nother level of fucking crazy. Yeah. I am not mentally fucking ill if I walk in and my girl motherfucker cheating and I shoot her and the motherfucker that's in the bed. You I'm are. fucking upset. You no, are. I'm no. fucking mad as fuck. Bitch, you disrespectful and nigga, you too. Pop, pop. How do you, you think? How do you think his lawyer is gonna plead? I, his lawyer ain't gonna I, plead shit. Listen, he gonna be listen, gone. No, no, you're your your attorney. How do you think your attorney's gonna plead? For I don't you? give a fuck, my nigga. I, slow down. They, they gonna slow gonna, down. They gonna slow, try slow. to Get say. No, hold, hold on, hold on. They're yeah. gonna try to say. Temporary insanity. What temporary what? Insanity. Yeah, temporary you, what? Insanity. And that's the truth. I'm not. No, bitch. I was mad. Okay. She was disrespectful. You were temporarily fuck mad that. at that time. Pop, pop. No. I, <laughs> fuck that. I, I, you fucking your I'm whole. not mentally ill. Bitch, she was disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You gonna shoot just, the dude or the girl? That's just the way out. That's just the title that they put over shit that you mentally motherfucking have you ever, fucked Have you up. ever been temporarily insane? I have. I have. Nope. I have. I have. Thank you. I, I, nigga, I know hey, that we, hey. I know we can't say it online. Ooh, nigga, when I, I know we can't say it online, but me and you, nigga. N- nigga. You exactly. almost caught a case that N- day? N- huh? N- you almost caught, caught nigga, a case that nigga, day? Nigga, when he, I was it, smelling it, on panties, nigga, I was, this bitch cheating on me, nigga. I guess he is going to say it online. <laughs> nigga, I'm just saying, nigga, I was shit. Nigga, I was, and I could very well see, J-Mac, in that moment, I could very well see, but I was fucking mad. You were temporarily insane. Mad. Insane. You were out of your mind. Cause I'm like, yes or no? How you gonna cheat on a nigga that's been cheating? He's going. He's going back to that. How the fuck are you gonna cheat <laughs> gonna on a nigga him back that's to been cheating? State of mind. You don't cheat on the nigga that's been cheating. That's you know exactly what you do. That's no, fuck that. No, that's you don't. Exactly you're not you supposed do. to do that shit. This is why the fuck I. St- this is why the fuck I don't cheat no he, more. He could have went to jail that night. That's all I. I don't know. cheat no more. That's all. I- I don't that's cheat why, no that's more. why you don't cheat no I don't more. Cheat no more. You I, cheated so much I know after what, that. I know what it feels like to be you, cheated on. You cheated so much after that. I, this was vengeance. Vengeance is mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he is mine. mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. We, I agree with that. I just want first. So it's Trump. So it's so it's not Trump's fault. Well, no. Everybody's saying it's Trump's fault because of his his rhetoric, his white supremacy. So maybe 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 Trump is being like the Allah and and getting these motherfuckers Ooh, to do that no, shit. Never put those two words together. Which boom. ones? Trump Allah. Why? <laughs> But I'm just saying, maybe he maybe he got all these motherfuckers thinking like, how you know, when the motherfuckers wash their hands, they they take a bath, cut their hair, wash their hands, the motherfucker be like, doom. All right, so nigga, this it. So you ask, is this Trump's <laughs> fault, right? Right. That's what people are saying. Yeah, you cannot say it's literally his fault because Trump then called the guy and was like, yo, I need you to go to Walmart, but shoot up. Well, I well okay, hold on, hold on. Before, but it sounds like he's got a butt. Coming. Yeah, I know. But before you yeah. say your butt. What the okay on black and white sides? King Kunta said there's been an uptick in hate crimes since Trump has taken office and is started. That true? That's what he said, and I, I mean maybe they just tying that shit. But too. go ahead, what were you gonna say? But what is that a bad thing? Yeah, yeah that could just be a correlation. I think it's a bad thing to have hate crimes up. I I, I don't know. If but it is it because of Trump or just because we're just in that time and Trump King just Kunta so happened said to be it's president. because of Trump's rhetoric and since he's been promoting the white supremacist agenda by not denouncing them, even though he did in the tweet just. Yesterday or whatever day it was, still that's all, that's all bullshit. Now he doesn't mean that. So the the idea is that his rhetoric is what leads white supremacists to feel comfortable in committing hate crimes, and because of that, hate crimes are on the uptick. His word, I don't yeah, even. Yeah, but use the you word cannot uptick. now like literally blame him because of that, because you still got to blame the people committing the action. Absolutely, because Trump is not. Ne- there's never a speech he said white people, white supremacists, go kill some people. He doesn't. He never literally said that. Now, could his rhetoric spark that? Like that kid already had that feeling, but now because he hears the, well, pres- that's what, that's what the president of the that's United the States, yeah. But I'm not gonna blame the president. You know, I'm not gonna blame Trump for. That. I'm still gonna blame that kid because the kid already had that. Now he just had a little boost of confidence. His friend could have given him that confidence too. You know, he probably heard Trump, but still didn't have the boss to do it. But his best friend was like, yo, let's just go do it, bro. I'm tired of the Mexicans. Now, you know what I'm saying? You you don't know what happens after he hears the Trump con- speech, you know? I'm a, let me ask so you. So that's why you can't this legit blame Trump. You this just got to blame his racism and mentally illness. If Jay's homeboy takes him to fucking Bulldogs and he fucking leaves with a fucking gay lover, it's not Jay's homeboy's fault. No, no. it's Jay. 
Jay Smooth likes dick. Yeah. That's it's not it. So to to sit around <laughs> and fucking and he nodded, guys. If you didn't, if you if you if you listening on Tuesday, he nodded. <laughs> and, 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 no, the fuck I did. Man. He so, didn't kind of look up he, with a, a so, gleam in your eye. So so no, okay. I'm just saying okay. that so that, if, so that if, these motherfuckers. What's that? If Jay Smooth, who take who? Jay Smooth, listen. What I'm saying, just don't an get example. Cut. This just is just an example, example bro. Simple. Use French. This motherfucker <laughs> like swallowing nut. So, well, he's already out the closet. Mine. So, the point is, do you think that this dude just started fucking hating black people or no, Mexicans? He's been. So, so it it wasn't until 2016 that this guy turned racist. So once fucking Trump came into office, these people that were just fucking normal white people turned into fucking racist, all because Trump. Started with his rhetoric. Is that what I'm? Is that what's fucking happening? Or were these motherfuckers already racist? And if they were already racist, how in the fuck is that Trump's fault? So you're telling me, oh no, wait a minute. Now they're more brazen about their racism, right? They're fucking more open with their racism. It's not in the fucking dark anymore with their racism. If anything, it's I'm the okay other with, way around. I'm okay with that. If anything, it's the other way around. What do you mean it's the other way around? It's because Trump sees those type of people and he decided to take a. Um, capitalize off of it to become president. sure. Those are if not anything is the other way around. Let's Trump be clear. Is inspired by them instead of they no. are inspired uh, by Trump. Inspired. Stop mm, with these words. Impressive. Inspired. You just mm. choose the wrong word. I know you. I know English is your third language, but that's the wrong word. But you that, know what I'm saying. Mm, mm, kind of. So this is the. He's thing, taking right? advantage of their sure. ideology. The, the yeah. fucking the easiest. Let's be clear. The easiest racists are not the smartest people. That's just they, no, of course they're mm-hmm. not. I mean, because it's just it's just a dumb ideology. It's, it's just to think that because of someone's skin tone, that has an, a profound effect on the type of person they can or can't be, or, and, or in your own life, like, or, or, it bothers and, you that much. And that's just you know that's not a very intelligent thought. And so it's easy for Trump to take advantage of that fucking demographic. But the reality of it is. <laughs> Who wants? I, I, I heard it on Black on Both Sides. He really said, "Do you want to go back to where people fucking held their prejudices in, in, inside, yeah. and you didn't know, and it, everybody dealt with each other in civil manner? Fuck civil. If it if it's with fuck is racist fucking undertones behind. I don't want you to be civil with me if you fucking hate me. If you hate me, tell me you don't fuck with me. That's cool. I, that's better. I don't I don't understand a reality where." Wanting to be buddies with someone that doesn't fucking like you is a cool thing. I don't want that. If a motherfucker don't fuck with you, you would rather know that than have them pretend to be your friend and you think that they're your fucking friend until you find out they don't fuck with you. What kind of stupid shit is that? Yeah, I feel you. Um, my question is, is what 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 can Trump do at this point? What, what I'm else okay is, with it. No, I'm saying, but honestly... W- there's been a few things here that... Expose them all! But, but we're talking about all this rhetoric, right? But what about the other side of it? Uh, ASAP ASAP Rocky free mm-hmm. free man yeah I don't know if Trump had the direct connection but he was tweeting the shit he said he hoped he, he get home call. he hoped Rocky get home he ASAP. made a call at least he's I think he's the twentieth person that Trump black person Trump got out of jail the other nineteen were here Kim Kardashian Kanye all those people he's done he's the got ball these black brother people. the prison reform stuff yeah, yeah, yeah um, he did him too who the Bob got yeah, yeah the, that's one of the people him. that's one of the people um, he pardoned Jack Johnson. I mean, you know that well, he's dead. He's already gone. Whatever. But black unemployment is low. I don't. Well, that was Obama. They, there was always an excuse. But the last thing, though, the last thing was. I just what about, stay oh, with what about Tr- Omarosa? He I, fucking. He was like their best friend or some shit. For I just want to stick with Trump, the racist, right? I just want to stick with how Trump is fucking responsible for all of the fucking mass shootings, you know, that are against black people. Because again, hey, listen. Mama always said, "You can't bake a cake." Without cracking a few eggs, I don't know N- what you mean. Yeah, nigga, which there's one always the bake and which one's there's the, the eggs, nigga. As yeah. the motherfuckers the, for every cause, there's gonna be some front line motherfuckers that get took out. And if part of the front line Cash motherfuckers that, war. that get took out are the motherfuckers that are, be, as we expose all these races, so what? We you we, some people are gonna have to get took out. I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but it's just part of it. But it's f- for the greater good. Right, you if it's it's I'm Gilead on this shit, right? We got to fucking for the greater good. Some people may have to get Walmarted, and if it's okay, That's not cool. no, no, I'm just nigga. It's what I'm, I'm telling you is that reality. what I'm telling you is that these motherfuckers are 
let them come out. Let them say that they don't like us. Let them do whatever the fuck they expose themselves because I'm tired of fucking. We talk about, oh, racism has been dealt with. We dealing with the shit now, ain't we? But no one likes it. We don't want to deal with it like this, right? How do you fucking want to deal with racism if not like this? We want to deal with it, but I think we just want to stop those guys before they commit the, the crime. So you can't stop a criminal from... That's why King Kutu talking about give up the guns. Bullshit. Don't give your guns not, up. Don't do it, people. Stop it. Because, again... Uh, well, hold on. Giving your guns up ain't the answer. Because, again, if I need a gun, I can get a gun. I don't need a fucking license to go get a gun. So you putting fucking laws on fucking licenses and doing all this other shit ain't going to stop me from getting a gun if I want to go kill a nigga. So that's or dumb. Or you just create a different weapon. That's dumb. So that's, that's, not, that's not the answer. But, but what I mean, but I, I know you wanted to get away from it, but there's something to what I was saying as well. The rhetoric is what they're saying is causing all this. And so I'm saying, if you believe the rhetoric when he says the things that promote white supremacy, why can't you believe Trump called for the nation to denounce white nationalism and bigotry in his remarks? In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated, Trump said. Hate has no place in America. So if we're going to take everything he says as rhetoric for white supremacy, why are we going to discount when he says that? It's not something what the left want to hear. Because the left you, is going to say but that you see he's what I'm saying? saying that to save face. Yeah, but maybe he's just saying the other thing, that whatever. Yeah, I know. If, if we, either we're going to believe what he says or he's a liar. If he's a liar, he got to be lying to the other side too. And if that's the case, how could it be his fault? That's what is. It, you can't have it both ways. Either he's a liar or he's telling the truth. Either he believes what he's saying or he doesn't. But you can't have it when he's talking about, when he's, when he's not denouncing white supremacy all this time. Well, now it's too late. Is it too late? I don't I, know that it's too late. I feel like... I, I that, that those I've, those are very clear statements. No, definitely. It, but I feel like as I've gotten older, I feel like it's I I maybe it's I don't know how it, easy it is for other people to forget. It, it, we get so caught up in recency bias. Like hmm. hate crimes weren't happening before he was in president. There's America an started as a hate There's crime. There's an uptick. There's an uptick. Huh? There's an uptick. I mean, can we I, really I, see I that data? The, the, the I want to see that thing, data. Yeah, I would like. I would like to see that. There was hella that. shootings I'm, when I'm, Obama I'm, was dead too. What, what about? I remember too. a nigga getting hold dragged on, behind. So, so look, I, I remember think, a nigga on. getting dragged behind a truck. I think we, they just we, spotlighting it. We never, we never go. We never get went to the live room today. Jeffrey Parker says because someone else told him to say that he can read. Who what told Trump to say that? I mean, so every president uses speech writers, etc. But here's the thing, right? He did say it. So what are you saying? You're saying Trump never speaks out against white supremacy. No matter who told him to fucking say it, he said it. Why isn't that good enough? What else do you want? He fucking freed ASAP Rocky. He said white supremacy is bad. It's the worst thing in the world, basically. He denounced it. So you're saying that him just saying it isn't enough. He has to believe it in his heart and his mind and his body and soul. What the fuck else do you want this person to do? You got to come back for you. Read okay. It. What did they say? He... No. Mass shooting increased due to Ob- Obama. Mm. No, you said same guy that said there was a there were decent people in Virginia when the guy ran over that. that there guy. are decent people in Virginia. <laughs> Only one person ran somebody over in Virginia. Am I wrong? So one person ran somebody over in Virginia. Mm. One hundred and fifty people have tiki torches. Now everybody in Virginia is fucked. What does it mean by mass shooting increased due to Obama changing the definition? <laughs> When did Obama change Niggas, the definition? I, I, it's, you know, it's no, funny. I, I don't know. Yeah. What if? What if, like? No, 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 no. I don't know if that's true. No, 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 no. But no, hold no. on, look though. So right. So if so if he was lying when he said this, why wasn't he lying about Virginia too? This is this Either, is. He, why wasn't he lying on both of them? If he's a fucking liar. Stop though. This is this is the thing. It's I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna talk to all you black people out there right now. Uh-oh. I'm talking all you. Black oh boy, everybody else, turn your mics up. It's so, gonna be bad. <laughs> no, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is just for the black folks. The the racism shit. Is is has to stop because I know a, a ton fuck of black people that don't like white people. A ton fuck that don't like white people. What was that? A ton what? Fuck. Okay. That don't like white people. No matter what, they don't want to give white people a fucking chance. No matter what, they don't like them. And and white people are just you know off the cuff, the, the enemy. But that's okay, right? I mean, that that's cool, right? I mean, you, as a descendant of a slave, right, you have reason to be that way, right? You have reason to be fucking angry. Maybe the and, descendant of a slave. And, and angry and hate all white people, right? That's, that's your reasoning, right? That's what we say when we're like that. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is that 
you know how easy it is for you to fucking hate white people. And it's cool. You don't fucking dig them. I saw a video today. This girl was staring, a black girl was staring at another fucking white girl at the corner. She had box braids. And the black girl was looking her up and down. And then the person videotaping video. was like, yo, look at, I thought I was the only one. Like, let that bitch fucking live. But again, it's okay for you to hate that white bitch. Because uh -huh. that's okay. That's good racism, right? That's justified racism. Yeah. But racism, any other form of racism is... The fucking worst of all kind, but you can't understand that, right? You can't understand why a white person might feel some kind of way about your ass. It's just all, I'm, all I ask is for everybody just to look at things from both sides. That's can all. I can I speak for the black people? Please do. Black you're people, the, you're the blackest. Uh, <laughs> good one. The, the what you said is completely right, but those the black people you're talking to will tell you I can't be racist because I can't stop you from progressing financially. To the, to, through anything in America. That's what they will say. That's one. The thing about the box braid example, when a black girl does it, a job can sometimes fire you for it. They say it's unprofessional. They actually, there was a school the other day in Georgia. The cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah that put certain hairstyles is not okay. The but cater. when a white person does it, it's in style. White person does what? The same hairstyle. It's in style to celebrate it. But when a black person says it, it looks when unprofessional. Do they, when do they celebrate it? I'm just saying, nah, it, it, you can't just throw that out there like it's real and it's not. Yeah, when does a white person do that? And when when, it? when white people take black hairstyles, we celebrate and, that. No, not us. White media, white companies make it a fad. Make it like the school says. Yeah, we love it when you cut your hair like this. Because we're talking, talking about, about a school, school system. Yeah, I'm saying when white people copy. We're black not talking hairstyles. about white people. We're talking about black students that had haircuts. Yeah, right. So, they, but see, the reason why I'm stopping you is because this is this is the rhetoric. This is it. This is the rhetoric. We're talking about kids at a school. Mm -hmm. You're saying that when white people do it, we have to be talking about white kids at a school. You're saying when white kids do it, they celebrate that. Yeah, so the not, school they have a pep rally. No. What do, what do they, they let them do it? They, they market it. They make it a thing. Like, Who the white school companies, white media. We're white not talking about that. We're talking about the school saying you can't wear this hair. And it was a black school, and mm -hmm. they said they don't want their kids looking like that because it presents a certain image. Yeah. There are schools here in Atlanta that are all black, and they're very strict on their students because they want them to present a certain image. Now, if that's racism, I don't know. Is that racism? Go to Ron Clark and think you're gonna come in there looking like that. Ron Clark Academy, which but is isn't it? But it's not racism. But they are protecting. What, so why is it different for Ron Clark Academy, who's a white guy, to tell his students, "Hey, don't put lines all in your head because you look like a fucking idiot and you're presenting yourself in a in a poor way." That's not racism because he does it with a smile. No, why do you but say at that? this school, it's like, oh no, you're you're those are black hairstyles. I don't know that lines all through your head is black hairstyles. You didn't help the black people in your argument. No, what? What? Because he he was focusing on the school. I was just saying when white people do take do black hairstyle outside of school, just for whatever reason, uh -huh. companies, media companies celebrate it. What? They don't celebrate when black people do it. If you go to the barbershop, I see all. When do they not celebrate black hairstyles on black people? We do. We celebrate our hairstyle, and then white people celebrate our hairstyle by doing it too. Yeah. But when we do it, we can we sometimes tend to get punished by when? white corporate offices. When? when? When have you ever seen a white person go into a corporate office with dreadlocks and not they don't tell them go get your ass out of here with you cannot have nobody can have dreadlocks. Not just black people. Well, black dreads are for black people. I get it. But if nobody can have dreadlocks, I don't care if it's a white person or a black person. They're not letting a white person come in there with dreadlocks. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't seen that many. Yeah. I've seen black girls come in with an afro and they tell her to get out until she. You've seen that? Yeah, I've worked. I've worked with an with, afro. Yeah. How big was the afro? Like huge? It was huge. Okay. Do, do they with if a white girl came in with her hair standing straight up on his head? Do you think they'd tell her to go home too? I'm not sure. What do you think? If you just had, I'm, I'm gonna let you speculate. I think they would be like, "Oh, what's going on?" I think they would. Yeah, I really think so. If a bitch, See, if a bitch jailed her hair straight the fuck up and out and came in, because you know why? You gotta go work at the front register. You know with why? Her hair you out you like know why this. I say that? Why? Because, granted, that's not an afro, but there was a white girl that came with like blue hair, like all nipsy blue hair, and they didn't say shit to her. Now, that's what there's I'm saying. There's a lot of chicks out there working with red color. The color hair, don't do that. Don't, there's a but lot of colors saying, out I'm there I'm just saying, the, they the didn't workplace. say shit to her. There's a lot of colors in the workplace. I got I'm you, saying. but I'm just saying, they didn't say so, shit to her. So I don't really know. If a white girl comes in with an afro, they may be like, oh, what's going on with your so hair? So you okay. like saw somebody style. get sent home because of an afro. Yeah. But okay. it was a huge, it was a huge No, afro. she had a long fro. Okay. okay so this is the thing. So, so you're doing, hold on, where did you work? No, I need to get the details. Where did you work? Huh? Where were you working? 
Um, Best Buy. At Best Buy. You're the manager. Somebody comes in with a super duper fucking afro in uniform. How do you feel about that? You're the manager. I wouldn't she, care. You wouldn't care if she's out talking to your, your potential customers with an afro that barely stands up because it's so heavy. Yeah, I wouldn't care. It's just an afro. <sighs> okay, stand by. Jay Smooth, you're the manager at Best Buy. How would you feel about that? If everybody else has regular hair, she comes in trying to express herself. How do you feel about that? Be honest. I, it don't really bother me. Okay, Jimmy Mack, if you're the manager at Best Buy and somebody comes in with a, a too tall afro and wants to express herself, how do you feel about that? Nah, I, I think we, we have a dress code. We can't just... But, this but, is it. If you want to express yourself, fine. We we work it. But that, we but work that, it. What's so, wrong with so, afro? Is that so, a, is that a distraction? Say, Having too so, tall, a blowout afro that's huge yeah. in the store. It it, it no. is, and that's what I was about to say. It you go at every company, you got guidelines, mm-hmm. right? So right. companies that I work, you can't have when it gets to the point like you saying. Be honest, it's a distraction. Like they say, color hair. Like we, at a job that I work, a chick came in, a white chick, French, had color hair that was like a dis- fucking distraction. She had to dye her shit back, the regular shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because in the handbook, it says that any event, it causes a distraction in the workplace, this shit is a problem. You got to dye your shit back and say, none of these fucking colors. You know what I'm saying? So, in the, in that like that, I mean, you know, with business, you got to make sure it's work appropriate. He fucking up my buzz. Um, I'm just saying. No, not you. Not you. French Reggie. I'm sorry. It, French it, be lying, though. But no, but that's that fucking, that's that black victim mentality shit that we're talking about. That's that's, that's my why, problem. I, I, that's my problem. Well, that's, I literally I said that's what they're going to tell you. I don't see that's how a black victim. What do you mean? I literally because heard it, it, Oh, I can't, but it, but a white person can't. No, that's not true. He that's did, not true. I literally tell you that's, that's what, what they will tell you. Some black said, people that's what, what I would t- tell you. That, but again, that's the whole black victim mentality yeah. that okay, I, I'm a I'm a racist, uh-huh. but you can't be because yeah. I'm a justified racist. Yeah, they'll tell you because you their racism cannot stop you from getting a job. So this is the thing. Money, this is the thing. Lining, all that this is the thing. This is bullshit because again, it's not systematic. But it's not about that. It's it, do you think that the rich white people give a fuck about the poor white people? Nope. Me personally? No, fuck it just in reality. Nope. Just in reality, no, do you no. think? No, they do not. It's not they not they're not riding for the fucking whites that are fucking poor. They don't they're not like, oh well, those are my people. They ride for themselves. Them, them, them are my whites. I gotta gotta get them out of the fucking fucking trailer park. No, they don't. They don't give a fuck about them. Because it's not about color. That's the thing. You guys are on this fucking whole red herring about color, this, and racism, and that. You're missing the whole fucking boat. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to focus on this dumb shit about us being fucking different because we're different colors. It ain't about that. The rich motherfuckers are pushing us to the fucking side. The motherfuckers that ain't rich are fucking, they don't matter. Whether you're fucking white, black, or whatever the fuck color you think you are. You might think you fucking rich enough, but you ain't. You ain't. And, and you think that it's, oh, you you fighting against the other poor fucking white dude, and you guys are both in the same boat. You guys are fucking on one side. He's at the bow. You're at the stern. But you're in the same fucking boat, the poor boat. So quit trying to act like you're fucking better or the otherwise. You know what I mean? And this goes for you too, fucking white people. You know what I'm saying? The fucking white racist, poor people. What The white rich people don't give a fuck about you neither. So fuck it. Didn't one of the presidents from the past said something about none of them niggas give a fuck about no, none no, of I'm us. I'm talking about they said like <laughs> if you s- keep um if you make this the like poor white person think they're better than a black person it's like some shit like that. I'm like maybe the Lyndon Johnson. Well, yeah, yeah what like was that. the anti? He well, said something like that. Like, what was the ha- the wheelchair nigga? Theodore um, Roosevelt. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. Okay, I fuck with him because he he tried to warn niggas about fucking some shit. No, it might not have been Theodore Roosevelt. Okay, what did, Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin. Delano. FDR, yeah, FDR. So, yeah, yeah Franklin. Yeah, that was, motherfucker was like, listen, the government, fucking the machine, yeah. all this, this fucking establishment, is, that's the problem. And that's what you guys need to worry about. And we're too busy fucking fighting poor fucking white people against fucking poor black people against poor Latinos, and the, and the fucking the machine is still fucking cranking along. And we're too busy fucking talking about, oh, they fucking doing it dirty. We're fucking doing it this and that. And we ain't getting no fucking place. Well, listeners, viewers, we appreciate you guys tuning in once again to the No Nonsense Show. Hey, uh, don't, I don't know if you, y'all know this or not, but our Friday afternoon quick hitter, what we learned for the week, 
is complimentary now. So you can make sure you're tuning in Friday afternoon to kind of hear what went on on the premium show if you're not a premium subscriber, but also kind of a recap or maybe a little funny, a little funniness at the end of the week. So um, make sure you're listening to that. What else, guys? Uh, follow else? us on our, all our social media. It's at No Nonsense, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And keep sharing the show. Yeah, share the show, man. <laughs> and fucking become premium. Just for just for one month. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. No. Nah. Come on, man. He said he will, not the show. I said I would. <laughs> and I and that, listen. Holla at give me him, after you give, buy it. Give him your motherfucking what you call it? Your uh, PayPal and your motherfucking yeah, cash at me. Cash at <laughs> once you but you gotta sign up first and then we'll talk. That is some intangible bullshit. No, you are not getting your money back. I don't even want to put that dumb <laughs> shit out there. This is a real life. <laughs> that is what Hold it is. No, Hold up. no if nigga. It, if it works for everybody else, I <laughs> No nigga. This is a get, real life. Just get the money. You no, secure the bag. No, that's you put you're <laughs> lying on air, nigga. No. Yeah, fucking you, Sprint said they got the best network. <laughs> you don't read that little so did AT&T. You don't read that little thing in the bottom. So did Verizon. <laughs> we look, we really appreciate Straight that. Talk said they got the best network. We su- we appreciate your subscription. However, there is no money back guarantee. You know what you're getting cuz you listen to the Tuesday show. It's funny as shit on Friday. Just like it's, it's funnier. Funny, it's funny on Tuesday. We just ain't, we're able to get a little deeper because everybody can't hear the Friday show. You might get 250 back. How about that? No, Half your you're not back. getting shit back. You're going to get a whole bunch of laughs. You're paying that laugh tax. That's what you're getting. I know that once they listen, they're, they're not going to want their money more back. Than five, so listen, this they're is They're getting the thing. more than $5. It's like Jay Smooth, right? Jay Smooth's fucking theory, right? Once he starts giving them the dick, they're going to want it, right? And they're not going to stop. It's not rape at that point. So once I promise them to get their money back, right? Once they listen, they're not going to want their stop money. Stop saying that. Stop even saying that sentence. They're not going to want stop. their money. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna quote you. Because I already know what's going to happen. Once we start giving them the dick and then, then we nut, <laughs> we gotta, guess we, who's going to lick it we're up? We're going to tell them jokes until they love it. <laughs> guess who's going to lick it up, though? <laughs> Jimmy, Mack. Listeners, keep supporting us. Keep interacting with us. And we'll keep bringing the nonsense. Because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. Or guaranteed. <laughs>